It's devastating, heartbreaking. You know, all these guys, usually I'm not wrong about stuff like that, that I, I just see a good team in there. I see good guys, and I see uh, good hearts. I see guys at work, and I told them I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong about that stuff. And this team's going to win some games. This one hurts just, you know, 14-0 halftime, come back out and just um, somehow come up on the wrong side of it. That's That's tough, but... We're going to bounce back. I have no doubt. I know what we're made of. Just seeing how we've handled the first three weeks. I know nothing's going to change, but damn, I really want to get a win with these guys because we've been working so hard and put ourselves in a position the last two weeks, really. Even you know, even against the Broncos, had a chance too. And just got to finish. Um, it's collectively, it's everybody. It's not one one side of the ball or anything like that. It's just all of us uh, finishing. And we're getting there. I'm not even going to say you know, it's going to take time. Whatever. We're we're right there. Michael Smith, it is good to be with you on a Friday afternoon. And I'm going to tell you, um, it's probably good in northern Kentucky and southwestern Ohio, too, because the Cincinnati, as my grandmother used to say, the Cincinnati Bengals are three and one. They're going in the right direction. And as, as I told you many times, the draft pick of Jamar Chase is brilliant. Like that is the that's that's the right way to go. Jamar Chase, you don't draft Penny Sewell. You draft Jamar Chase, Mike. Like, I, I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know what you're thinking about, man. I'm, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to help you. Anyway. I was gonna. I was gonna ask you. I, I'm glad you said that. I don't. I, I'll let you continue. I was gonna ask you how you feel about a franchise that doesn't want to win that doesn't want winning to win. their game. They don't want to win. I, I, I just didn't know. I didn't know how those two things could coexist. I mean, but uh, you know, there's I, a higher level. Though. There's a higher level. <laughs> there's a higher level than being three to one on October 1st. But anyway, anyway, I, I, I digress. I'm going to say this. Uh, no, really happy for Cincinnati. They're doing well. Happy for Joe Burrow. He seems like a good dude straight up. Seems like a good dude. Um, and a second year guy. You know, second year guy being in that locker room and having the ear of everybody in the room. Let's not underestimate that. That's uh, you, you around some grown men, some grown men who have much more experience than he does. And for them to listen, I know it's after a win. You want to you, you might want to listen to the quarterback, but that tells me there's something special about him. But let's go. Let's get to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now they dropped to sure. 0 and 4 Urban Meyer, who I usually wear out in the NFL sense about how he's not built for this on and on and on. I really appreciated what he had to say and we just showed it there after the game. I'm usually not wrong about this. I think there's some wins in that locker room and he, he also said it wasn't shown there. He also said the core of this team is good. Our core is good. We got good players and I agree with urban in this sense. Yes, they got they have good character. They have good players. Trevor Lawrence is the truth. You could just see it. He's not even scratching the surface of what he's going to get to. But there's a reason the guy has been the best quarterback in high school, in college, and he will be in the pros probably in two or three years. I mean, he's that good. So ta the talent just screams. Uh, if you're watching, it just screams off the screen. But this is where he's wrong. And this is why I think he's going to struggle in Jacksonville. Team's working hard. They got talent. But that guarantees you nothing. That probably means for the Jacksonville Jaguars this year, five and 12, four and 13. And college coaches usually have a hard time. College coaches like Urban Meyer, who's never lost anywhere. He's never lost four games in a row ever. Probably didn't even do it in he high lost school. Nine at Ohio ever, State. I, yeah, nine. And like nine games over a career and he's already lost four. He's going to lose more than nine this year. And that's the question. Question is, can he handle it? Now, I like what he's saying here. Maybe he's softening a bit because this is what the team needs to hear. What he said last night is what they need to hear. He didn't make excuses. right. That's why I'm struggling to say that's why I'm struggling to understand well, why you say he's wrong because that because he said the right things in, that, in this context. No, no, he's wrong in that. He said there are some wins in that locker room. Not in 2021, no. He said there are wins in there. Yeah, I mean, I guess there are four wins in there. They ain't 10. Yeah, but they ain't gonna win 11 games. Well, but, and he's, I, I, 
I think he's going to struggle with that, Mike. He's going to struggle with the double-digit losing season. That's like almost a guarantee. They're going to have a double-digit losing season. I don't know what it is. I'm not rooting against Jacksonville. I like Jacksonville. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing like that. I, I don't treat Jacksonville like I, the, the city of Jacksonville, like I treat the uh, city of Tampa. I don't even deserve a pro, pro team at all. Don't, don't support their fans, but uh, support their teams. But I'm saying Jacksonville, I'm not against Jacksonville. Just overall, it's going to be a long road. Improvement will have to be viewed in increments. Improvement will have to be viewed in, ooh, dirty phrase, moral victories. And I don't know if Urban Meyer is ready for it. Okay. Um, all right. If I'm, if I'm understanding you, and, and it's, this is, it's me, not you. I just want to make I sure I'm, I'm processing. Um, you're saying that he said the right things. He said what right. his team needed to hear. He said what he should yes. say. Good, good word. But good word. the reality but the reality is they're just not that good. And you wonder if Urban Meyer is built to withstand the process. Yeah, the process, right. the journey, so as sounds, you say, as you like it. So that as as you put yeah. in your feed, you put that in your feed and uh, as our as our friend of the show and your actual friend, and I, you know, I'm gonna call him my friend too. I'm gonna call him my friend too. My friend and yours, Black Thought, always said. The, the quote from, I think it was Bobby Blue Bland who told him, you got to get through it to get to it. And so mm -hmm. that's what the Jacksonville Jaguars, they have to go through it. Can Urban Meyer go through it to get to it? Because he's just like, he's saying heartbreaking, devastating. Man, it's October. Oh, now, last night was September 30th. It wasn't even October yet. You're in September and you're talking about devastating and heartbreaking. And it's really getting to him. It really just messes with his spirit. Can he get through this thing? Can he can he sustain um, his energy and his focus through a five and twelve season or four and thirteen season and know that that team got better? Like they'll be four and thirteen, so they, they, but they started, won't be a joke. But the record will look like a joke, but they won't be. You know what I mean? They started. They started one and zero last year. They've lost nineteen straight. Um, Ooh. So I, I I hear you, but what I struggle with is so it I feel like what you're saying is a preseason take, respectfully. I, I feel like what you're saying is, you know, what you heard last night is confirming what you already thought about Urban Meyer coming into this job. Like for, for those who it. haven't but but this is what I'm not saying it's personal. I'm not but this is what I've heard from you since the beginning. No, but since since he got the job. You didn't like him getting the job to begin with. I remember that. That's I think number it's a bad one. Fit. I think it's a bad fit, but okay, I hope he, that's hope number he one. And and nothing you've seen to this point, whether it's preseason struggles, whether it's rumors of, of, of friction within the organization and the 0-4 start and his reaction to these losses, preseason and regular season, nothing has moved you off the idea that Urban Meyer just ain't built for this NFL life. That's what I'm hearing right now where I disagree with you and it remains to be seen where I disagree with you is that um, he I don't think he sees it the way you see it you see a you see a team that's four and 13 or five and 12 or something like that not only do I think urban is saying what needs to be said I think he is saying what he believes and should believe because if, if you're coaching a team and you go into games expecting to lose because you're not good enough or, or, or you're accepting struggles because hey, this is who we are. This is and this is who we should be. We shouldn't be winning these games. Then no, you shouldn't be here. And I think players That's and your staff will see through that. I didn't say that how could, but how could I didn't say that though? Well, but I, didn't I say feel that. like that's what you're insinuating say that. that no, you no, you're saying no. he said well, okay. Oh, let me say it this way. I'll just say this Mike. They had one of the worst defenses in history last year. One of the mm -hmm. worst defenses in the history of football. Last year, just last year, they had two first round picks this year. One of them, a generational quarterback. The other first round pick is teammate out for the season. They brought in some free agents. They made some draft picks. They upgraded, but it wasn't so much of an upgrade. Like we'd be foolish to think it was enough of an upgrade. But Michael to make but them Michael. suddenly go from 
But, but uh, Michael, a, a, a they got, bad team they to got, a good one. They got stomped by the Texans. They got stomped by the Texans. They lost at an undefeated Denver Broncos team. You know how hard it is to play in Denver. So they got stomped by the Texans. Right, right, they right. lost at Denver. They were leading the Cardinals last week. And I know there's no column for leads. And they were up 14 nothing. And if not for a, 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 a stop at the one yard line before the half on fourth down, maybe 21 nothing yeah. against a good Bengals team.